Well, yeah, welcome back to the Major Slack Attack here first off for titillating tactical Skyrim gameplay. <laughs> Three of curveball there. Okay, today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the most money selling your stuff. And uh, this is today's crash test dummy, Maximus Orc is my orc gladiator in training. If you want to follow along exactly with this tutorial, start the game with an orc and do the Helgen Keep power start and the paralysis poison power start. I have videos on both those links in the video description. It'll take you about 30 minutes to complete both those runs. Um, today's video is all about bonuses, fortify barter bonuses, getting better prices. There's five different bonuses you can get right at the start of the game. Uh, you can get a necklace, you can get a shrine blessing, you can get some special headgear, you can get the gift of charity by giving a coin to a beggar, and you can make a potion of fortify barter. Now, um, paralysis poisons, uh, assuming that you did this run, these are going to be the key to getting the headgear. All right, The necklace and the shrine is no problem, giving a beggar a coin is no problem, uh, making a potion is no, no problem, the headgear is going to be the bottleneck. That's the tough one. Um, there's only one piece of headgear that you can get at the beginning of the game. Everything else is way above your, way above your pay grade. This headgear is the Thieves Guild hood. And even this, even entering the Thieves Guild on legendary difficulty is pretty much above your pay grade. Unless you have some paralysis poisons. So let's go to the Riverwood Inn. Not the Riverwood Inn, we're in the Sleeping Giant in Riverwood and make some paralysis poisons with this big batch of Swamp Fungal Pod and Imp Stool that you collected in your Paralysis Poison run. You did that run, right? Okay, so make a whole bunch. Just just make them all. So this should give me around 15 to 16 Paralysis Poisons. This is going to be instrumental in breaking into the Thieves Guild. Alright, and I'll explain about that later. It's either that or fight a bunch of really tough bandits. And like I said, at this point in the game, level three, this is or level four, even level four, it's way above your pay grade. I'm just assuming that you're playing at the highest difficulty setting that you can handle. I usually play on legendary, which is the highest difficulty setting in the game. So there's my poisons of paralysis. I favorited them and I hot keyed them. They're ready to rock. All right, so first off, we're gonna go get the necklace and the shrine blessing. To do this, fast travel to Whiterun Stables. You can do this with any character, okay? But I'm just demonstrating that you can do it with a low level character. Once you're at Whiterun Stables, take or hire the carriage to take you to Riften. It'll cost you 20 gold. Once in Riften, you probably want to wait till daytime. It'll be a lot easier to accomplish. So it's now 5 30 in the morning. Let's wait four hours. All right, now we're going to go after the Amulet of Zenithar and the Shrine of Zenithar, both of which will give you 10% better prices. So that's 20% better prices already. To do that, follow the Stone Road north from Riften, okay? This is just to show you where we're going to go, right? And I just waited to see if I click, could clear the fog, and now it's raining, so... <laughs> okay, so take the Stone Road north and look off to the east, and you see up that hill there, right at the top of this hill, there's this kind of like shelf or table um, which has an amulet of Zenithar and a shrine of Zenithar right there. But it's guarded by a frostbite spider. At this stage of the game, it's guarded by a frostbite spider. If you go later in the game, it'll be guarded by a bear. So whatever it is guarded by, it's once again above your pay grade. What we're going to do is going to sneak along the top of this cliff here. This will be the easiest way to access this um, particular area. So sneak along the top of this cliff here. Well, you don't have to sneak, but just, you know. Now you can sneak. <laughs> I was trying to wait to recover my stamina. And we're lo looking for this kind of like, it's a broken temple, basically. It's kind of like a ruined temple. And see, it's kind of like in a half moon shape. There it is right there. You see right underneath the tree? There it is right there. That's where the amulet of Zenithar is and the Shrine of Xanathar, both conveniently enough right at the same place. And I'll show you in the map where this is, in relation to Rift and Stables, it's right there. Alright? Now the Frostbite Spider is right there. What we can do is, you could do one of two things. Use your Hunting Bow and use a Poison of Paralysis and just paralyze it. Run in, grab the amulet, hit the Shrine to run out. Or, you could use a little trick. 
The thing with Skyrim is, if you attack an enemy and the enemy can't get at you, what Skyrim will do is the enemy will run away. So let's attack this Frostbite Spider, and we're now in a position where it can't get us, so the enemy runs away, so you can't get it. Now that it's run away, we can quickly run in, <laughs> grab the Amulet of Zenithar, hit the Shrine of Zenithar, and get the F out of Dodge. You don't really have much time to get anything else. I know there's some gold there and some other goodies, but um, like I said, the Frostbite Spider is creeping right up on your back. You want to get out of there, because he's going to make short work of you. So run back up here to these kind of like these Riften guard houses, and there's always three guards here who will make short work of the Frostbite Spider for you, conveniently enough. Here we go, all together now, big Nelson Muntz. Ha ha! Welcome to and we can go up and loot him. That's that. So we got ourselves an Amulet of Zenithar and the Shrine of Zenithar Blessing. I'll show you that at the end of the video. For now, let's go get the Thieves Guild Hood, which is right here in Riften, conveniently enough. Start with, we'll have to enter Riften. And this guard always tries to hit you with the Visitor Tax. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the Visitor's Tax. Tell him to blow it out his and um, you'll level up your speech. Go for the persuade option. Keep your voice down. You want everyone to This is another speech check I have never ever lost. So it's pretty much a gimme. It probably has pardon me, very low requirements. Interrupting we go. And you always get accosted by one of the Thieves Guild, this guy here, Maul. This is pretty much a waste of time, so just, you know, jam through his dialogue. You're not going to win his speech check. And on to the Riften Marketplace to hook up with Brynjolf. Have a little chat with Brynjolf, and he's going to set you up with a little caper. This caper involves Branchy. Branchy can be seen just behind Brynjolf, off to the right there. And the caper is this. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There you go. There's someone Simple that enough. wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Okay, so that's our task. Steal Medesi's ring and reverse pickpocket it into Branche's Good. Pocket. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Okay, so Brynjolf's going to go off to the left there and start selling some snake oil. Everybody's going to gather around, and that's your cue to get busy. This way, everyone. Over here. Okay, everybody gathers around. Branchy has a seat. You can see him right behind his stall there. He sat down. He's your target, okay? That's your target. The ring is over on this stall here. Now you're gonna have to be real sneaky about this, so hunker down. That's what you said about the wisp essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with. Wait till you're completely hidden, and then pick this lock here. It's a tough lock. It's an apprentice lock. Once you got that lock picked, don't move. You can pick another one right there in your same kind of like hidden position. And this strong box is where Medesi's ring is. There we go. We got Medesi's ring. And while you're at it, you might as well grab the other stuff in here too. It's going to show you this Medesi's ring. That's it right there. That's what you need. Okay. Like I said, you might as well grab this stuff here too. Wait till you're hidden. Get some extra scratch, and that's it. Now, <clears throat> pardon me, before you do the next step, you probably want to save the game. Definitely want to save the game. We're right behind Branche now. We're going to try to pickpocket him. Okay, we're in pickpocket mode, and we're going to, instead of take something from him, we're going to give him something, and that's Medesi's ring. But you may get busted, as I did here. So, do over, do over. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, that's what I said. Save the game. 
Once again, go to your apparel, go down to Messi's, Mendesi's ring, and hit the give button, whatever that is for you. For me, it's R. Give. And we just we just reverse pickpocketed Mendesi's ring into Branche's pocket. That's it. You've completed the objective. If you actually wait around the marketplace, you'll see the guards will come up and arrest um, Branche. It's pretty funny. But we have other business. Let's talk to Bring You Off again. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Okay, and he has challenged us to Take get to the advice. Ragged Flag, and this involved. is a bar um, All right, I'll down in the sewers below Riften that is pretty much a Thieves Guild bar. Okay, and I'll show you how to get there. Let's go across this bridge here. There's the marketplace. Here's the uh, orphanage. And go down these stairs here, hang a left. And right here, open this gate and into the rat way. Now here's where it all happens. You're gonna have to get on your gear, get on your best gear. Something that can take a hit. Some kind of like heavy armor would be good. Equip a dagger. I say a dagger because it's the fastest moving. I wouldn't I here I changed my mind. There you go. Yeah, there you go. A dagger, yeah. Because it has the fastest fastest attack speed. And you got your paralysis poisons hotkey. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna poison your dagger right away. And everybody you see, you're gonna whack him with a poison dagger to put him down. This is how you're gonna deal with the uh, the fact that these guys are way above your K rate. Okay? Hit him. Hit him. These two guys are always there. Run for it now. Run around here, down here. And just when you get to this door, just open up and back away to avoid the trap. Close the door. And at this point, you can either wait until um, you're in sneak mode again, or you can continue. They usually don't come through the door. See, I'm going into sneak mode again. You afraid to fight me? Now, off to the left, there's a skeever. And just behind the door, behind the skeever, is a really tough hombre. John the Fist. There is no way you're going to take him down at level 4 unless you bring a follower. And even then, it could be tough going. So, quick save. I'm going to use the hunting bow to do a sneak attack on the skeever. You'll be barely able to see him, but he's in that doorway there. Right down the doorway, usually off to the left of it, so right about... Boom, there. Got a sneak attack, and I killed him. There we go. Now, up comes the dagger again, make sure it's poisoned with poison of paralysis. You got two more guys to deal with until we can get into the Thieves' Guild. So let's run for it. Get up to the door. John the Fist is right there. Hit him with the Poison of Paralysis. He goes down. There's a trap at the top of these stairs, but just blow right by it. It shouldn't affect you. And go through this little kind of like garden area here. And off to the right here is the low life. Now what happens here is often the low life will follow you right into the ragged flagon. So as soon as you get in the ragged flagon, run for it. Okay, go right up around the back. See, he followed me in. So what happens is the thieves guild guys will whack him for you. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And this will take care of him so you don't have to deal with him on the way back out because we've got to go back out again. Back out again and back in again. So this is an easy way to take care of him. This is on legendary difficulty, of course. I think I showed you that at the beginning of the video. If I didn't, I'm telling you it is. Everybody knows me. I always play on legendary. And once he's down, get him so get some loot off him, and then you're gonna go talk to Brynjolf and tell him you made it into the Ragged Flagon. Now that I've whetted your appetite, and then he gives you another quest. How about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. 
I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. There, that's what you want right there. You Honestly, want to join the, the Thieves Guild. secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Okay, consider it done. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Now ask for details, because he'll give you some special arm-twisting tactics stubborn, you can apply to all these got guys. A soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. There. Well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Okay, there we go. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Okay, and finally, Percy. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Alright, so we have our standing orders. Go play deck collector to these three dead these three deadbeats rather. So out we go. And watch what happens here. This is this is a recording handicap. This has never happened to me before. I go out the door and John the Fizz is waiting right there. Never seen this before, so be prepared, this may happen to you too. Never should have come here. Right there, right up in my face. <laughs> so I took a few hits and I paralyzed him. Now coming back out, you can just Hang it right here and hit the lever and lower this drawbridge and it'll make it a lot easier to get back out. I think it's the only way back out, actually. And now you're going to have to retrace your steps. Same thing here. Poison of paralysis to anybody who gets in your way. And once you're back ripped and go back to the entrance, this will make it easy to find Helga's bunkhouse, which is right to the right here, away from the entrance. There's Helga's bunkhouse. Go in, tell her you got a message from Brynjolf. If you're looking, what did you want? What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Now the outcome is always the same. She refuses to pay after you converse with her. Come over here, go into sneak mode, steal her statue of Debella, and go back to her and threaten to throw please, the statue in the sewer. Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Mission accomplished. Next, let's go talk to Bercy. At the pond prawn. From Helga's, hang a right, go across Staying the bridge, safe, I hope. hang a right here, go down this alley, and here's the pond prawn right here. Go inside and talk to Bercy. So can I, interest I have in a message for Grinyolf. What? Oh, it's one of you people. Same deal, he refuses to pay. Do an about face and destroy this urn here with anything you got. I usually take the like the heaviest weapon I got. Whack it until it breaks. No! You're going to break it! Oh my word. Please, I don't have anything to pay. Don't there you go, it's all busted up. Urn. Put away your weapon. No! Want me to break something else? That urn. Alright, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold and leave me in peace. Mission accomplished. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons. Next, the bee and barb. That's just around the corner here. It's easy to find. Right here. Go in and talk to Talon J. He's right off to the left there. That's your target. There's Talon J. Talk to Talon J. And ask him, you might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. 
And that's all you have to do. If you'll excuse me. I mean, you go talk to Karava. She pretty much gives it up right away. Everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You tell him I'm yeah. sorry, yes? Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. That's it. Mission accomplished. So uh, all we have to do is get back into the uh, the Thieves Guild bar there, the Ragged Flagon, and bring the news to Brynjolf. Of course, everybody's still alive. And probably a little pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same deal here. Now here I recommend, even if you can run by them, even if you see an opportunity to run by them, hit them with paralysis anyways. This guy's just coming too, eh? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hit him, hit him down anyways. Why? Because the second time you go back to the Thieves Guild, I've noticed that um, if somebody follows you in, they won't kill him for you. They'll just run away. They'll just ignore him and run away and leave you dealing with them. They'll leave you with your arse hanging in the breeze and you have to deal with whomever came through. So, take them down with poisons of paralysis to make sure they're far away from the door when you go through the door. That way, they won't follow you in, right? And they usually run over here and hide, go into sneak mode. Nobody followed me in, that's good. So go to talk to Brynjolf, tell him the good news. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. After that, Brynjolf takes you out to meet the head honcho Mercer Frey in the Thieves Guild secret headquarters, the Cistern. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. And after a lot of chit chat, you get your next mission. And then Brynjolf tells you to go talk to. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Tonilla. And that's where the big payoff is. Good. Go talk to Tanilla back in the Ragged say. Flagon. Here's your armor. Just and she gives sure you your armor. Use. A whole bunch of stuff. Thieves Guild hood, Thieves Guild gloves, Thieves Guild boots, and Thieves Guild armor. This is the one you want there right there. Thieves Guild hood. 10% better prices. Now, go back to the cistern, alright? The secret headquarters. Hang a right here and you'll find this ladder that goes up. And this is leads out to the Thieves Guild secret entrance so now you don't have to go through the rat way anymore which still has all those guys who are alive and probably even more pissed off now <laughs> so now you don't have to deal with that anymore you can you can even fast travel here the, the Thieves Guild is now a fast travel point alright so that's it now you have three uh, different kinds of blessings you have the Amulet of Xanathar you have the Thieves Guild Hood and you have the Shrine of Zenithar, but you hit. Let's go to Windhelm Stables or Windhelm if you already discovered it. Into Windhelm we go. And let's get the fourth blessing the Gift of Charity. This is gained by giving any beggar one gold piece. And every capital city has a beggar Whiterun, Markarth, Solitude, Windhelm, they all have a beggar. It's just a matter of finding them, okay? Now, this one here, I forget her name, but she's either at the fire in front of the Palace of Kings, or if you've been to Windhelm several times, she'll be down at this crime scene here for the Blood on the Ice quest, or she'll be in the marketplace in front of the Blacksmith's fire. One of those three places, and I lucked out. She wasn't at any of the places, so I'm just going to have to look for her the hard way. But that's where she usually is. And here's where I finally found her, right near the Palace of the Kings. Silda, that's her name. And now she's trying to run away to her usual spot. <laughs> Give her a gold piece. Works for any beggar in any uh, capital city. They always say the same thing and they give you the gift of charity which bumps up your speech by 10 points for one hour. Which in effect has the effect of bumping up your prices, giving you better prices. So now, now let's take a look at all the blessings we have and all the stuff. We got the Amulet of Zenithar, we got the Thieves Guild Hood, both of which bump up your prices 10%. Here's all the blessings listed here in your active, active effects. Three times Fortify Barter and one times Fortify Persuasion from the Gift of Charity. So that's four blessings, all which give us better prices and in effect more money when you sell your stuff. Let's get the fifth blessing you can get. And that is by making a potion. Now, potions of fortified barter can be made 
by mixing any two of these four ingredients, butterfly wing, dragon's tongue, hag raven claw, and time dried cotton. Just forget about hag raven claw. I don't know where you can get any kind of abundance of those. I usually go with dragon's tongue and time dried cotton. Dragon's tongue, you can find a ton of them on the road leading south from Windhelm. And um, Tundra Cotton, you can find a lot of those around the Hunting Brew Meadery, which is just east of Whiterun Stables. All right, so we just made a potion of Fortified Barter, and it gives us 4% better um, prices. We can make that better by getting a couple of perks in the Alchemy skill tree. Right now, we're only eligible, eligible to get Alchemist up to rank 2. So let's plunk a couple of perk points into there. Potions and poisons are 20% stronger, and then with rank 2, it's 40% stronger. That's all we can do, because alchemy is only up to 21. You may have noticed that I have a ton of ingredients in my inventory. That's because I also did um, the Big Money Power Start. I'll put a link to that in the video description as well. How to get 35,000 gold worth of ingredients in your inventory uh, right at the start of the game. Yeah, <laughs> cranking out the how-to videos here, boss. Okay, so here we go. Tundra Cotton, same deal, and Dragon's Tongue. Now we can haggle for 6% better prices, so it's already better. I believe there's a potion that you get for free. I forget where you get it. Uh, it's either from Arcadia or f as a reward from doing the Thieves' Guild. It's one of the Thieves' Guild quests, which gives you 10% better prices. It's called the Potion of Haggling. I forget where you get it. Anyways, that should be in our inventory now. So there we go. There's a list of all our um, current bonuses. Fortify barter times three, one times fortify persuasion. Let's take a potion and add on the fifth bonus. All right. There's the potion of haggling. Like I said, 10% better prices. We got that for free somewhere. I forget. If you want to post a comment, if you know where that came from, uh, post a comment. I forget where it came from. All right, so let's go through all our juicy bonuses. Potion of Fortified Barter, you haggle for 6% better prices for 30 seconds. You gotta work quickly with that one. The Thieves Guild Hood, prices are 10% better permanently. The Amulet of Zenithar, prices are 10% better permanently. Blessings of Zenithar, that's from the Shrine, that will last for seven game hours. And finally, the Gift of Charity, Speechcraft is increased 10 points for one hour, all right? So there's all your bonuses. They all stack on top of each other and they give you more money when you sell your stuff. All right. So there you go. Um, that's it for this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. That's right. Like, fave, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. All right. See you next video where I'm going to show you how to sell anything to any merchant. Okay. Continuing our big business week here in my Skyrim how to videos uh, series. Yeah how to sell anything to any merchant. That's coming up next video. All right, thanks for watching.